There we go. Hello everyone, so today I am at the shop here in downtown Seattle and I met, I met this wonderful guy, his name is Sean. And Sean said he would let me drive his, his Porsche 911 Carrera. And it looks really good. Sean, what have you done to your car? So my car is basically stock. Uh, I've always wanted a newer 911-911, so I managed to find a beautiful Carrera 4. It's got basically all the options, the larger 20-inch wheels, uh, and I just love it the way it is. Uh, it's a great driving car, didn't need any additional modification from me, and today we're going to let you drive it and see what you think about it. Really fast car, you can drive it every day. <laughs> really fast uh, car. But yet, you know, when you put it on a track, it shows you where the engineering truly lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I've been told, that's what I've been told. Yeah. So here are the 20 inch wheels. Oh, they look really good. In fact, they don't even look that that big no, on the car no. themselves. And 20 inch is big. What I like about Sean's car the most is that, yes, it is a six speed, or seven speed. It's a seven speed. Wow. So why'd you pick the seven speed over the the, the PDK transmission I'm or whatever. Curious. I believe I agree. sports cars need to be manual. True save manual. save the manual transmission, guys. Yeah. Save it, yeah. please. Yeah. Uh. That's why I like the older sports cars. And one reason why I went with this particular model, I think it's one, gonna be one of the last somewhat pure 911s to where you can get the normally aspirated engine mm -hmm. combined with the manual transmission. Even though it does have electric steering, uh, the one reason why I wanted the all-wheel drive, the Carrera 4, is because the electric steering combined with the all-wheel drive gives you a really good driving feel. Yeah. Uh, the two-wheel drive Carreras, you can feel, tell that it's electric steering somewhat. Yeah. So now all the newer 911s are turbocharged. Yeah. So this is sort of the last of last of the, the dying breed. Now the 911, the true 911, you know, Porsche files would be upset with me calling this a Purist because uh -huh. they call this a GT car. Yeah, uh -huh. and it does have the longer wheelbase than the standard 911s, and yeah. it's lacking some of that old air-cooled character. But yeah. still, it's mm -hmm. a great car. Yeah, and it's not turbocharged. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let's get things straight here. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say about the interior? Uh, you know, it's just a standard uh, leather interior. It's got the additional sport seats mm -hmm. with the uh, crest in the headrest. Uh -huh. uh, it's got the sport steering wheel. And other than that, you know, it's just standard Porsche, you know, fare. Very Spartan. Oh, it's got the sport chrono package. So you uh -huh. get the uh, sport plus mode. It advances the throttle when you put in the sport chrono. It gives it a little bit more zip. Uh, this one also has a glass top. Oh, I love that. Is, uh, I love that. New to the 991s. Uh, you don't see a lot of folks op optioning for the all glass top, but I love it. You know, for me, a sport car has to have leather and it has to have some kind of hole in the top. And from, exactly, and from what you, it says, you're dailying this car kind of, huh? Yeah, I drive it quite often. It's, it's yeah. uh, it, you know, it shares duty with the Audi that I have, but mm -hmm. I, I drive it quite a bit. So it needs to be good on the... It needs to be comfortable, it needs is to what be I'm trying to say. And it's yeah. quite practical, you know, it's easy to take a road trip in a car like this. You've got enough yeah. space up front. Yeah, I was surprised. The There's a lot of space in here, yeah. Yeah, you know, so I used to have an older 911. Uh, I had an RS America, and it was really tight on the inside. It yeah. wasn't nearly as comfortable. Uh -huh. This car, I, I can see why they call it more of a GT. Yeah. Uh, because it does have space, it's quite roomy, and the seats, of course, are really comfortable. Yeah. Uh, it's got enough adjustments where you can find a way to, to you know, survive a long ride in this one. Yeah. And believe it or not, you know, the reason why it has a seven speed, it's got a high, highly geared, uh, seventh gear for overdrive. Yeah. This thing gets over 30 miles per gallon. Really? Can you believe that? Yeah. Not bad. You know, I, although I didn't buy it for its MPG. Yeah, no way. I uh, really just, you know, like the car, like the character. The only thing about this engine is the 3.4 liter. Uh, you really have to rev it to get it moving. Uh, this is a car you have to drive, you know, you have to shift it down a gear and have to keep the revs pretty high. Yeah. Uh, it'll rev up almost to 8,000 RPM. It's really? more chrono. Wow. It, it sounds great. 8,000? Really yeah, it, it, red, it shows red line at, I believe, 74. Uh -huh. but once you put it in sport chrono, you can over rev it a little bit. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, it, it sounds really great. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it builds this power and torque up higher in the uh, RPM range. So uh -huh. yeah, that, that's uh, sort of the characteristic of the engine. Personally, these days, 
This is all you get to see on the engine of the Porsche. Oh you get two small fans and a place to check your fluids. Uh, not much beyond that. So that's the engine bay, Me guys. Being an engineer, this is not an yeah. engineer's dream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Oh, that is awesome. Anthony, how do you fit back there, buddy? <laughs> it's pretty good, I guess. Oh my god. It gosh. works. Okay. See? It's a family car. Oh, look at that. It's perfect for soccer moms. So far, right off the bat, I'm actually really... I'm, I'm sitting very comfortably right now. I have plenty of space. This is awesome. It's not bad for me. We're on. Okay. You have to, normally when it warms up, mm -hmm. it's trying to heat the oil temperature. Yeah, of course. So you hear the rails drop down. And you wait for that every time? Yep. Okay. And this one you can flip through. Well, it gives you, shows you a tire pressure monitoring. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And this shows you your torque split. Okay. This so is once we drive, you'll see the split between the front axle and the rear axle with regards to how it's distributing power. Uh-huh. So, you know, for instance, if it's raining and you're coming out of a corner and it needs that traction, you'll see that it can put almost 100% of the power to the front. Kind of like an open differential. Yep, yep, yep. So it's really neat. And it can actually distribute power independently between the rear tires wow. and the front the front axle as well. So that's what I really love, especially being in a wet area. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, 911s are typically fairly real tail happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to find yourself wrapped around a tree. And this, <laughs> this is a, uh, <laughs> this is what I call belts and suspenders. Oh, okay. I'm feeling this is very interesting. I've never felt I've never felt uh, a clutch like this. And the, the throttle response too is very. It's a lot more different than a, a Lambo, actually. And uh, yeah. Wow. This is awesome. Or like a Mustang. I remember driving a Mustang, and it was like very, very raw. Yeah. Very raw. Yeah. Clutch grab is high. You know. You know, Porsche. They really. Their engineers are absolutely impeccable. Yeah. And you know, they've refined this car over more than 50 years. Really? And so they've, they've really gotten, you know, everything precise. I mean, it, this car feels like it's just machined it from a good. solid piece of, of metal from a complete billet. It feels very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here. Yeah. Right this, put, no, you put it back down in third. So it'll auto put, right? Recording from the GoPro. That was an awesome opportunity. Uh, Sean, once again, thank you very hey, much. Thanks, I appreciate it. I had a great time. 
Yeah, Sean yeah. was having a good time, especially <laughs> you were. Uh, you uh, he was doing pretty good out here in Mexico, you know. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's what you do on a beautiful day with a fast car. Yeah. You go drive the shit out of it. <laughs> Rainy Seattle looks beautiful today. Once again, we're at the shop. Uh, I'll link their place down in the description. It's a great place over here. So, okay. I only think of you.